this is the first part of the assembly so i have two 3d printed legs i have the linear railing with the carriage this is uh, 450 millimeters and i got two screws and two nuts these are 12 millimeter screws they're not the best fit but but it works See, I got these grooves for the nuts. Just hold them in place. Here we have the NEMA 17 stepper motor and the 40 teeth timing belt pulley. A 3D printed part that goes on top of the stepper motor. I'm going to screw it on with four M3 screws. They're 10 millimeters long. It does help to pre-drill these holes because sometimes it can get a little bit tight from the 3D print. You can also attach the pulley. So now that the NEMA 17 is screwed on with the pulley on, I had to change the screws uh, to M3 8mm, actually the 10mm didn't quite do it. Uh, and here I'm using M4 20mm, I didn't have any better screws. If you turn this around you can see that they're a bit long. 16 would have been perfect, I think, uh, but yeah. Now we're going to make the other end. I have a timing belt 1220 millimeter long and a bearing 608. Now put the timing belt in first, otherwise it gets a bit tricky. Kind of push it into this groove you have here. and. When you hold it in place, you can push in the bearing like that. The problem I have with this design is that my timing belt is a bit too long, so I had to redesign this part and it's actually 3D printing now, so I'm waiting for that to be ready and I can attach that. The other problem I have is with the carriage design. This is made for a bigger carriage uh, and I have a smaller one. So I just drilled some holes for now just to test the whole jig, but I'm 3D printing a new part that should work. Here you can see the evolution of the parts design for the other side of the camera slide. 
So the first part, the original parts, uh, it's obviously designed for a shorter linear rail and a shorter timing belt. But since that's what I have at home, um, I had to redesign it. Uh, this was just short enough, so I made an even bigger one. Uh, here's the evolution of the carriage. This is the original part, uh, designed for a much bigger carriage than the one I have. This is an MGN9H. Uh, and while I was designing and printing the other one, I just drilled some holes to test it out and it works fine. But obviously I drilled the holes a bit offset, so I had to redesign it again. Uh, when I printed the first part, I did print a few of them so I could play around while the real one was being made. Um, so I drilled some holes here and it seems to be working also with the timing belt when you pull down the screws all the way. Uh, and here's the final piece. The with the camera mounts and the holes in the right place. I'm gonna put it on. I'm not going to tighten it all the way, just a little bit, so I can tension the belt afterwards. I do need to put some more tension on the belt. That's why this design is perfect because it allows me to kind of pull it the, the amount I want. Here are the electronics for the projects. We got an Arduino Micro connected to a joystick, an analog joystick. And to that, we have also connected a Nina 17 motor. And we're gonna drive a timing belt to move the carriage. Now I already set the code into the Arduino. I will share this also in the comments, but. Right now I can just move it forward and backward. I would like to get it to be able to move in, in finer increments too. Here is how it's all connected. So we have the Arduino Micro here, which is connected uh, with power through these two wires here. I'm, I'm bridging it out to the ground and to the five volts. And here I have five volts coming in. And there is a capacitor uh, of 10 UF right here. Then we have this Stepper motor driver, the A4988, which is uh, connected to the Arduino Micro. And first of all, it's connected here through uh, the pin down 
in the bottom right, bottom left, and that's the direction. It's connected to the pin two on the Arduino Micro. And then we have the step pin, uh, which is the second uh, from the bottom left. Uh, and that is connected to pin number three on the Arduino Micro. The stepper motor is a Nemo 17, uh, and it's connected to the A4988 stepper motor driver. Now, it's actually really important to check the voltage uh, on the uh, on the stepper motor driver when you do this to make sure that you get the right current for the model of Nemo you have. I can show you that later on. Um, otherwise, we have connected also to make the the stepper motor drive, you need to connect 12 volts, uh, and that is also connected here, as you can see, uh, and it's connected to the breadboard on this side, and it powers up the A4988 stepper motor driver uh, through here, and it also goes through a 100 UF capacitor on the way. The stepper motor is connected with four wires. Now, this can be a bit tricky, and, and it vary sometimes but usually the order is the same uh, and you can say, see that you have a red blue green and black one and in this uh, project i've connected it here uh, in this order so it's black green red and blue in that order then we have the joystick module which is also connected to the five volt so first of all i will connect it to the ground and to the 5 volts, so it's powered. And this is an analog uh, joystick, so I will connect this here to the analog pinout 0, which is the fourth from the top left on the Arduino Micro. What I want to do now is to test what's the, the voltage output I'm getting uh, from my stepper motor driver. And to do that, put your multimeter on the little potentiometer you have here uh, and then on the first pin on the bottom right now i'm getting uh, 0.66 and that is pretty okay for a range for my step motor driver you need to check what step motor driver you're running and check out what you need on yours the electronics is connected and I'm just testing it out now. Uh, as you can see, there is only one speed and it's quite quick. So we're gonna have to change that. So this is the product all assembled and electronics connected. It does work, uh, but it is one speed and it's pretty fast and it's pretty shaky. I did exchange the joystick for a potentiometer to be able to adjust the speed a little better. And I need to change the code to be able to do that. But we are very close.